respected sir and my dear friends, a very good morning to one and all. I am Kiran and my roll number is EE10B121. Today, I am going to talk about the problem of huge power intake by our institute. Our institute daily spends around 70 megawatt hours energy every day, of which 17 percent is spent by the hostel zone. This has led to the recent power cuts every day. So, I propose to use solar collectors, which directly converts solar energy to electricity. This tapped energy can then be supplied to the national grid, thereby reducing the cost of a battery. So, our hostel zone daily uses up about 12.5 megawatt hours of energy, which brings down the cost to around 1.4 crore to set up this grid. And But we will get back this cost in less than 6, hour, six years. So, what are the consequences? As you can see from the graph, there will be about 74 percent reduction in the greenhouse gases emitted and we will be independent of in terms of power, but more importantly more of rural India will be electrified. Thus, we have a win-win situation here. Thank you for listening. Good morning friends, my name is Raju Shekhar. I would like to bring to your notice the problem of school dropouts in rural settings. First of all, how big is this problem? About 96 percent of India's children get enrolled in primary schools. Of these, only 31 percent appear for class 10 public examination, out of which only 40 percent pass. So, how to solve this problem? India spends only about 3.5 percent of its gross domestic product on education. For a nation whose 40 percent population is below the age of 18, I do not think it is going to be enough. So, we have to raise the amount of gross domestic product we spend on education. Secondly, I would like to propose a four level solution to this problem. Parent centric. Awareness must be created among the parents of rural areas about the need to educate their children beyond the primary school level rather than pushing them on to take on their jobs and responsibilities. Teacher centric. The major teacher centric reasons for dropouts are poor teaching, discrimination and punishment they impose on students. So, care must be taken such that they make the learning a joy to the students. So, environment centric. All schools must be provided with necessary infrastructure like classrooms, toilets, benches, etcetera. Caste factors and poverty in the family should not be a reason for them dropping out of school. So, it, the most important thing is maintenance of communication between school, student, community and government, such that the risk of a student dropping out is identified much earlier to really make a difference. Thank you. Have a good day. Good morning, sir and friends. I am Chinmay Bapat, CS10B059. Last time, I had spoken about the lack of open spaces in Mumbai. The main causes of this problem are lack of planning, encroachment, and open land that is unusable. Importance should be given to open spaces during planning. Currently, open spaces are used up whenever required. For example, the slum rehabilitation is being done using space reserved for open space. Such use should be avoided. Local citizens groups should take up responsibility for maintenance of the open spaces in their area. Basic cleaning up can be done and a few trees can be planted to create a simple garden. This would take, this would cost just 1 rupee per square foot per person per month to maintain. The, when the land is in use, it would also prevent encroachment. 
So, these are a few solutions to ensure that open spaces are available. Thank you. Good morning to all. My name is Aparna. My roll number CS10B003. Today, I would like to present a managerial solution to air pollution in construction areas. This is a picture of a typical construction site. As the chart shows, about 13 percent of pollutants are emitted in construction areas. And the managerial solution I would like to present is the use of air net bags in these areas. These are washable, durable filter bags to fit onto round portable fans in these areas. These are made up of a special fabric to trap air pollutants up to 5 microns in size without impeding the normal airflow and they would potentially reduce the cost up to, uh, to as low as rupees 200 to 300 rupees from a cost as high as rupees 12,037 millions of rupees. And this shows an implementation of this air net bag. Thank you. Respected sir and my dear friends, a very good morning. My name is Surya Teja and my roll number is CS10B004. Today, I would like to present a managerial solution to the traffic problem in my place. In steel plant, the employees start very late to their office. They drive at very high speeds resulting in road accidents in front of the main gate. Also, they are required to stop and show their identity cards as part of verification. As you can see from the statistics, the number of accidents has been rising every year. So, as a solution, I propose to implement speed gun detectors at regular distances over 2 miles in front of the main gate. These would detect over speed and capture the image of the vehicles. These cost only around 1500 rupees and around 10 of them would be sufficient to, solute, to solve the problem. Also, providing hanging identity cards to the employees would prevent from stopping them and showing the identity cards. Thank you and have a nice day. Good morning friends. I, Raghavendra, am here to talk about the problem of deforestation in Andhra Pradesh. Compared to any other state, Andhra Pradesh has been recorded for the maximum loss in forest cover of over 281 square kilometers as said by the India State of Forest Report 2011 released by the Environment Ministry Secretary T. Chatterjee. This is partly due to harvesting mature plantations of eucalyptus and other spe plant species. Also, the areas of Kambalkonda, Bhavikonda and Arku Valley of Vishakapatnam district lose lot of, lot of their forest cover because of illegal smuggling of teak wood and other mineral resources. The solution to this problem I would like to say is to make people aware of this problem and hence urge them to plant new trees. If the government forces every household to plant one tree at least, we can see that we gain around 10,000 square kilometers of forest area and this is just a rough lower bound considering only the urban areas in the state. 
if we consider all the areas and if this is implemented truly then we get a good rise in the forest area and we prevent the loss of environment thank you good morning everyone i am pranav my roll number is e e 10 b 0 08 last in my last presentation i have spoken about some uh, the effects of the mismanagement of garbage in our campus that is i i t madras on deer in my campus this is a solution which is which have been implemented in the student facilitation center commonly known as gurunath in the um, campus in uh, by using this casing the animals which uh, feed on garbage cannot re, um, re, um, reach the uh, reach the food and they might be saved fr from the um, from eating pl um, plastics and other substances we could also um, we call could also use other ideas like managing garbage properly separating the garbage like plastics from organic substances etc and protect this humble animal which is living in our campus thank you have a nice day good morning to everyone i am alfred ajay oriet my roll number is e e 10 b 0 52 in in india we really need clean railway toilets but what we have is sometimes worse than this but fortunately sometimes a problem could be a solution to another problem here we also have a problem of non recyclable plastic bags which when used here seems to solve both the problems but how it's like this take a pile of plastic bags flatten it and stick it as layers of wallpaper in train toilets held by an hanger or an holder and replaced by or removed by a sanitation worker periodically it roughly looks like this its cost is not more than a rupee per toilet which is about 4.7 lakhs for all the trains in india i hope this is a good solution and before leaving i would like to acknowledge people who have helped me in doing this thank you respected sir and friends good morning to one and all my name is rajiv my roll number is m e 09 b 034 today i am going to present a solution to problem of electricity shortage in iit madras the problem can be solved by preventing the wastage of electricity in certain areas the electricity is wasted in unnecessary places like in central library where central ac is not necessary and during sarang festival where there is a lot of wastage of electricity due to the uh, loud speakers and the electricity is also wasted due to our carelessness most of the times in hostels as i told the solution can be the solution is to prevent from wasting electricity the people of snet club in iit madras uh told that about 10% of the wastage of electricity can be prevented through 
awareness programs. Thank you. Good morning, friends. My name is Nitin Sailesh, and my roll number is ME zero nine B zero nine four. Today, I am going to speak about the students in classrooms of IIT. What do we find here among the students? Mostly, many of them lack interest. Often, we find many of them just dozing off. There is a large communication gap between professor and the students. Also, a large number of classrooms in which many students are there. and more importance is given to attendance rather than the understanding of the subject what i feel the solutions could be wash basins can be provided in all the classrooms and blackboards can be used rather than presentations at least after this one and classes can be made more interactive like a small group of students and uh, bringing about more practical information rather than just heaps of information just poured upon them and also personal review of the courses and understanding among the students at regular intervals and finally what i would like to say which is even applicable for me is that when more is invested then more is expected and also success in studies does not lie in being the best but in doing the best so why not give our best thank you respected sir and my dear friends a very good morning today i would like to discuss about reduction of electricity wastage in hostel zone of our institute let us look at the current scenario average power consumption by an institute student is around 900 kilowatts per annum it comes from a calculation which gives 2.5 kilowatt hour per day per person but our country's average per capita consumption stays at 288 kilowatt hours and which which indicates that we are spending three times the average per spend by an indian citizen the reasons being unnecessary usage and wastage during person not being in the room the solutions which i propose a main switch we'll have a main switch outside each room and variable cost current we'll install meters for each wing in the hostel each wing is given a fixed amount of power for free per month and excess power used from then on will be charged and it will be deducted from mess bill of the students once this variable cost method is applied there will be a considerable decrease in usage of power let us look at the cost benefit analysis for this method installation cost in one hostel comes around 23000 inr at the least if we assume 15% reduction there will be a saving of 40500 inr per year and this is continuous as it is a one time investment thank you good morning i am satya karthik my roll number is me09 b115 today i am going to discuss the reasons and the solution for child marriages from the graphs we can see that 113.5 million girls from the age of 10 to 19 were recorded in a survey uh, between 2004 and 2008 of which 44.5% were married under the age of 18 let us look into the reasons for this child marriage early marriage as strategy of economic survival where young girl is considered as an economic burden and she is married to their relatives customs and old beliefs where it is believed that when a young girl reaches her adulthood she is ready for marriage and the for the solutions we need to increase the accessibility and quality of the schooling facilities for the girl offering incentives for the girl and the families as we can see in haryana they proposed an program like a 2000 rupees 
for a girl will be invested in her bank account when at the time of her birth uh, by the end of the 18 if she still remains unmarried she can claim an amount of total 25000 and and we can implement a kind of those increase in the knowledge of negative consequences related to the child marriages are also possible um, thank you respected sir and, in, and my dear friends good morning to one and all my name is stephen kishore my roll number is na08 b037 today i'm going to speak about solid waste management problems and methods waste management is the collection transport processing or disposal managing and monitoring of waste materials day by day as the population increases wastage is also increasing and usage as well as wastage is increasing i have got the statistical increase in data of chennai waste management solid waste it is increased from 600 to 3500 tons per day within 20 years if you look at those figures it will tell you around 1996 the solid waste production of chennai is around 1700 tons per day and if you look if you look in around 2006 it is around 3500 tons per day it's almost a double so the solid may solid waste management should be effectively done and for those for these things there is a possible methods and it should be properly implemented if you look the statistical data the chennai population is around 6 million each person produces 500 grams of waste per day and chennai dumps is around 3600 tons per day it includes 70 percent of kitchen waste and 30 percent of others methods of solid waste there are many waste management methods few are landf landfill incineration recycling landfill landfill is thank you good morning to one and all i am sai vijayendra and my roll number is double e one zero b one 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 during the last presentation i have spoken about factionism in my hometown anantapur Basically, factionism is a phenomenon of continued violence or rivalry between two groups or families. It can be even between a father and a son. Due to this, there is loss to life and property of innocent people or neutral people. And the two families or groups fall in everlasting enmity due to this problem. So, I have proposed a managerial solution to this problem in my hometown. One of the most possible solutions to this must be the uh, increase in the literacy rate in such areas since this, must, this will change the mindset of the people in those areas and awareness must be brought among people so that this problem will, be, will come to an end. And moreover, high security forces must be incorporated to solve this problem. And we educated people must play a vital role in eradicating it. So, we have to bring this vicious circle of enmity to a saga of peace. I can even give you a live example about this, which happened on 10th Saturday to 2012, that is March. Uh, that one of the one of the leader in a political party in Anantapur was killed by his own brother-in-law due to his whole. Uh, old faction quarrels thank you good morning one and all I, uh, my name is b pravin kumar i am from naval artistry department my role number is na10 b055 i am here to say about the managerial solution of the pollution caused by the factories in my hometown uh, last presentation i told the Last presentation, I told about the pollution caused to soil and air pollution, water pollution. Okay, for that measurements to control location of injuries, developing industrial townships by granting concessions, by imposing restriction, and developing buffer zones between industrial area and other urban areas. 
and for water and all treatments you have to take chlorination and filtration screening vacuum filtration etc and for air pollution and all industries should use fuel with lower sulfur content industries should monitor their air emissions regularly and take measures to ensure that and industries should seriously follow applications government regulations of pollution control and finally uh, the industries must shift to outside the cities to prevent the pollution in cities and all and finally if you humans clear inner pollution then they will also cease to create outer pollution thank you i wish you all a good morning my name is saurab nath and my roll number is ae 08b044 today we'll discuss a few solutions to civic problems at iit madras one of the problems being energy wastage and how can what can we do about it the energy general championship all the hostels can compete on a monthly basis and the hostel which records the maximum conservation of energy that is water electricity etc by the end of the year will win the competition and at the major problem being brain drain and how can we mitigate it improving the schooling system and modifying the education system providing incentives to meritorious students encouraging domestic and international investments in r&ds another agenda is corruption to sanitize these institutions of great repute a committee of experts involving representation from social activists media judiciary and chartered accountants should be set up under the direct supervision of apex court and finally suicides and mental depression doctors from mental health and neuron sciences should form a task force and suggest remedial measures after studying the causes of such occurrences apart from the task of identifying students who might be driven to extreme actions through failing grades and attendance the feedback from friends parents faculty advisors and professors is a crucial input someone needs to make a move somebody needs to say there is an issue so that the situation can be identified thank you good morning friends my name is kumar my roll number is bt 10b024 today i would like to speak a few words about solution to the uh, problem of thousands of farmers the main reason why the state of farmers is not improving for the years because they are following the same old methods so the first main step is to train the farmers about effective methods of cultivation and uh, uh, this second reason for the condition can be seen as here from phone shockers so we to ban on illegal private lending and legalization of license money lenders and also limiting the interest payable to the original amount we can also implement other programs like seed replacement program organic farming technology oft micro irrigation agriculture development and also effective watershed management thank you good morning i am darshan v roll number b t 10 b 0 50 it is my pleasure to speak on the proper management of monkeys in iit madras the ratio of adult males to adult females is 1 is to 1.6 this demography predicts an increase in their numbers a troop of 30 monkeys require 50 hectares of land with an area of 230 hectares our campus can support only 140 monkeys whereas the current population is 195 the troops mt4 and mt6 can be relocated since they have the least numbers 
some adult males from troops having more than 30 monkeys can be removed without causing any ecosystem balance. We can also engage monkey watchers in hostels to curb their menace in corridors and toilets. A strict no feeding policy has to be implemented in the campus. Birth control using laser techniques are available although expensive. Its feasibility in our campus needs to be assessed. Thank you and have a nice day. Good morning friends. My name is Arun Kumar Reddy. My roll number is BT10B054. In the last presentation, I spoke about deforestation and uh, how it is, uh, how it affects environment. And in this presentation, I am going to talk about the solutions and methods or ways how to prevent deforestation. And uh, there are many ways in which deforestation can be stopped. Uh, the most popular one is sustainable logging, which means whenever a tree is cut down, planting two more trees in the same place. And this will help in preventing global warming. Uh, yeah, this is a pic that shows uh, a company which is adopting this method uh, for every tree which is cut down by that company which uses which is used by that company uh, the company will plant two more trees in the same place and the major event which took place in this uh, in preventing deforestation was shipko movement which is uh, leaded by a follower of mahatma gandhi sundarlal bahuguna thank you good morning friends my name is rohan bendre and my roll number is BT10B036. Today, I am going to present before you all a very common problem and what I consider an optimum solution to that problem. We all live in hostels named after mighty rivers, but we fail to realize that our water supply is not endless, unlike that of the rivers. Daily, a lot of water is wasted in activities like washing, brushing, shaving, just by keeping the tap running on and on. This problem can be eradicated by using a foot operated tap. The design is ridiculously simple. A flush tank float valve is attached to a L clamp. The float ball is replaced by a foot pedal. The existing inlet pipe of the tap is connected to the inlet valve of the foot tap and the egg outlet valve of the tap is connected to the tap itself. The tap is always kept open and the control is at your feet. The cost of this design is around rupees 300 which is a very cheap price to pay in exchange of precious water. Thus, my friends, saving water is in our hands, or rather, in our feet. Thank you. Respected sir and my dear friends, good morning to all. Today, I am here to speak about the garbage disposal crisis in my locality. As you can see from the table, due to excessive dumping of waste over 2 or 3 tons a day, the major garbage plant in my locality was closed down. The government stopped the collection of garbage in a city which produces more than 300 tons of bio-waste a day. Now, the temporary solution. The government should restart garbage collection. As of now, landfilling is the best option available, though temporary. Now, the government should clean all the garbage deposited all over the city. Now, but permanent solution. The garbage plant should be upgraded. Control the stench by proper ventilation. Bring down the amount of waste dumped there to 90 tons daily. The present one cannot cater to the needs of the entire city. So construction of one more plant. Now, 
the ground groundwater in the locality is heavily polluted so permanent distribution of clean drinking water thank you